The Why Him Review by Marcus Blake. Let's face it, great Christmas movies always have a lot of humor with a little bit of drama. Those are the most memorable Christmas movies. And I don't know if Why Him will become an instant classic, only time will tell. But for the meantime, it is a great movie to watch during Christmas. And I think this movie was designed not only for a younger audience, but for fathers who have daughters. Uh, the story centers around uh, Brian Cranston and Megan Minnelli's characters who have a daughter who live, you know, going to college in California who ends up being with this software millionaire guy who has no filter, played by James Franco. Uh, it's a raunchy comedy, uh, much in the vein of like Bad Santa, uh, but it does have a heart of gold at, at the within its plot. Uh, James, it is one of the funnier James Franco roles that we have seen in a long time. Uh, but again, it's it's a raunchy comedy uh, because his character just can't seem to filter or anything he says or doesn't have any tact. Uh, tact. And you're going to hear the fu- uh, the word fuck an awful an awful lot. But what makes it funny and worth watching more than once is the great cast itself and how they interact in uh, certain situations. Uh, probably, uh, add, well, I can say that really adding to the comedy and making it funny is the uh, the, uh, the AI voice uh, by Kelly Kawako from The Big Bang Theory, uh, who kind of, much like Jarvis from the Avengers and Iron Man movies, um, has a wit of all to herself. Um, throughout the movie, but this, but the center of this movie really is a father who disapproves of her, of his daughter's boyfriend and a boyfriend who wants to propose and get married. So it's you, it's not an uncommon tale. And of course you're going to have a lot of comedy within it. Um, as these two, two men are trying to bond it's a bit of old school versus new school. It's analog versus digital, if I can throw out any metaphors. Uh, but having the presence of Megan Minnelli in there, especially when she is drunk and high, uh, you get a little bit of Tammy from Parks and Recreation. Uh, and, let's, it's, and let's face it, Brian Cranston can do comedy. He is funny. So... Uh, whether it turns out to be one of the great Christmas movies that you watch, like Christmas Vacation, as I said before, only time will tell. But I definitely think that this is a a rated R family movie that, you know, especially fathers and daughters could actually work together and uh, watch together and laugh. Um, and I think that's the way that's what they were intending with this movie. Uh, you know, originally. Um, there's a lot of great uh, comedy within it. Physical comedy. Uh, but, it, you know, it, it the plot isn't anything that you're going to really have to think about. Uh, as with, you know, most comedies to begin with. Just like Christmas Vacation. Uh, the plot, you can pretty much figure out what how, how the movie is going to end. But how all of these characters interact with each other um, is very is, is hilarious. Uh, the bathroom scenes, which I know sounds like that it would be gross, are actually really funny uh, in regards to a uh, a super duper artificial intelligence ba- uh, uh, toilet. So to speak, you'll just have to see the movie to, to see what I'm talking about. But it does all come together for a really nice, uh, you know, Christmas comedy. And I do think this is a movie that you will watch more than once. Is it a great movie? No, I wouldn't give it anything more than a seven. But I would definitely tell people that you'll watch it again. And it may be within your list of Christmas movies, uh, at least Christmas comedies. That you uh, watch. In a lot of ways it reminds me uh, of Christmas with the Cranks. 
you know, you know what you're going to get with it, but you have great comedians, uh, you know, comedic actors within the film that, that bring that special touch. And it's enough to make you watch it again and to laugh, even if it is just once a year. So, but again, I, I could definitely see somebody like my father laughing his ass off at this film. Um, because I'm quite sure that both of my sisters have met a, a guy like this that he has wanted to kill. Um, so kudos to the writers for touching upon that nerve and crossing different generations. So, But really, at the end of the day, this movie is nothing more than a 7 out of 10. It's just an okay film. Um, and, it prob and with its simplistic plot, couldn't be any greater than that. But you will laugh and you will watch it again.